Okay, so we have here our first example. So it's given here, givens. This G minus B threshold. B equal to 0.6. And a given also that uh, V threshold B as a magnitude is equal to, uh, not a magnitude, yeah, 0.4 volt. And the key B is uh, 0.1 multiplied by 10 over 0.18. Uh, and the, the problem is to find R. Okay, find R. Okay, so let's analyze the circuit, try to find what kind of region the circuit is, is, is working, saturation, linear, cutoff even, you know. So, solution. Basically, here is the gate, here is the source, here is the drain. So the symbol for BMOS, I forgot to tell you to, to use that, is, is like this. So uh, same as in MOS, but the, the arrow head is going into the gate. Okay. Good. So Okay, so Vg here is equal to zero. Vg is equal to zero. And Vd is also equal to zero. Okay, good. So remember, Vd is equal to Vg. So Vs minus Vd is also equal to Vs minus Vg. I just did, you know, added Vs to both sides. Nothing happened, okay? So basically VSD is equal to, well, let's write it here, VSD is equal to VSG. So clearly VSD must be larger than, oh, sorry, VSG. So VSD must be larger than VSG minus V threshold. Because one for Q, two is equal to two. So basically uh, two will be larger than two minus one, which is one, right? So based on that, we are working in saturation. So ID equal to F KB VS G minus V threshold as a magnitude square. All of these are given. Half KB is uh, this number here, 10, 18. And VCG minus V threshold is given as 0 0.6. So this is 0 0.6 square. So this will be equal to uh, one. If you just do that, it will be one milliamperes. Okay, now we get, uh, we, we got ID, okay. So we know ID now. So going back to VSG, VSG minus V threshold B is equal to 0.6, okay? And V threshold as a magnitude is equal to 0.4. So from this, we can determine VSG. VSG will be equal to, uh, if we did the mass, uh, we will be equal to one. So this is equal Vs minus Vg equal to one. Vg is zero, so Vs is equal to one. Good, so we get the voltage here, Vs equal to one. So R is equal to 1.8, this point minus this point over R, for over, I'm sorry, ID, minus Vs, which is one, over one milliampere. So 1.8 minus one over one milliampere. So this will be 0.8 kilo ohms. Okay, it's an easy one. So let's go to another example now. So we have here a voltage divider, okay, circuit. Uh, ID is given equal to half milliampere. 
So ID, so here is a source, here is a grain. So ID is half milliampere, okay? VD is also known equal to three volts. So let's write this down. So number one, ID is half milliampere. VD is equal to uh, three volt, okay? And V threshold is minus one, KB is one milliampere volt square, okay? So uh, it's required in the first question here is to design the circuit. So design means find the RD, find the RG1, find the RG2, the three resistors, okay? Good. So let's start by RD. So RD equal to this point minus this point over the current. So VD minus zero over the current ID. So three volt minus zero over uh, half milliampere. So this will be six kilo ohms. That's an easy one. In all most transistors, IG is zero. So IG here equal to zero. That, that means that RG1 and RG2 in series. So since IG is equal to zero, this is number one. So RG1 and RG2 are in series. Good. So we never get the voltage at that point Vg, you know, for example, if it's 2.5, if it, if it was so, then we can choose, you know, which is have VDD, have uh, five volt, then we can choose RG1 and RG2 just equal to each other, whatever the values are, you know, one kilo and one kilo, two kilo and two, two kilo, whatever, as long as they are equal, okay? So we need to get a VG to do that. Good. Uh, so it says here that the transistor is working in saturation. Okay, so basically based on that, since we are in saturation, ID should be equal to have KB VSG minus V threshold. Square and the ID is uh, known, half milliamperes. KB is also known when multiplied by half, and then VSG uh, is unknown before us, so we're gonna we wanted to determine it. And V threshold is known, it's minus one, but we'll, we'll take the uh, amplitude, so it will be one square. Okay, the only unknown here is VSG, so let's do it. So gonna multiply two by half, it will be one. And we're gonna take the square root. So square root of one equal to V is G minus one. So from here, uh, V is G will be equal to two. And remember V is G is equal to V is minus V G. Okay, and remember V G is unknown for us because V is is equal to five, five minus V G. Okay, so two equal to uh, five minus Vg. From here, Vg is equal to five minus two, which is three. So the voltage at that point is equal to three. Okay. So since Rg1 and Rg2 are in series, so we can choose R G2 over RG1 plus RG2 equal to uh, three over five. For example, RG2 is equal to three kilo ohms and RG, uh, RG2, and RG1 equal to two kilo ohms. 
or three mega and two mega, you know, whatever, or three ohm and two ohms. But usually, with in most circuits, we usually choose, you know, uh, high, high, high values of, of resistances, and this is also useful because you will you will save current because the current will be less, so you would save power. Okay. Good, so this was number one. So let's go now to number two. In number two, it says, what is the largest value for RD, this voltage here RD, uh, sorry, this resistance RD, that can have, uh, that, that uh, can we have while maintaining saturation region operation? Okay, so that means we're gonna increase RD, okay, to the limit, to some limit, at which we're gonna move from saturation to linear. Okay, so we wanna know that limit. So at, at that limit, basically, we will working at the edge of saturation. So by increasing RD, the operation of the transistor, will move from saturation toward linear at, let's do it in another uh, point, at RD max, some maximum value that we wanna determine, you know, will be, the transistor will be at the edge of saturation. You just increase a little bit, we go to a linear. At the edge, VSD is equal to VSD set equal to VSG minus V threshold. VG no, will not change. Basically, why it will not be changing? Because at these values of, uh, of RG2 and RG1 that we chose, three kilo ohms, for example, and two kilo ohms, the voltage at VG will be maintained at three. And V threshold is a constant for the transistor. So VSD set is equal to VSG minus V threshold. VSG is, uh, uh, how much is two, I think? Yeah, it's two minus one, this will be one. So if we replace the current RD, which is uh, 60 kilo ohms with RD max and the measure VD, we'll find, I'm sorry, uh, we'll measure yeah, VSD, we'll find the voltage between the source and drain, we'll find it one volt. We'll find it one volt. Okay, so VCD is equal to one volt. ID is the same since uh, VG doesn't change. So ID, while it's changing, RD from six kilo ohms to RD max will not change because we are still in saturation and in saturation ID is constant as long as VCG is constant, VCG doesn't change. VS is, is tied all the time to uh, VDD and VG doesn't change as well because the voltage divider. So basically we have now RD max. Oops. We have now RD max. We have the same ID. This guy will be only the, the, the one that it change it. Okay. So let's do this loop here. So in this loop, we have VSD, we have VDD. So we can just 
maintain this like this. VDD, and we have the voltage across RD. So from the outer loop, VSD plus IDRD equal to VDD. VSD is one, which is VSD set. plus uh, RD max and the ID uh, is the same ID that we have all the time which is half milliampere equal to five. So RD max will be equal to uh, four uh, divided by no, half which is eight kilowatts. So we can put 60 kilo ohms, which is the current value in N1, number one, this question, and it will be saturation. We can put seven kilo ohms, and it will be saturation. We can put 7.5 until we reach eight, and in, that, in all that range, the transistor will be in saturation. Once we exceed eight kilo ohms, we will transfer to linear. Why this is important? Basically because uh, for example, for, uh, for amplifier circuits, we need to work all the time in saturation. Okay, we need to have all the time uh, independency between ID and BSD or VDS in the most transistor. Okay, but you know, uh, in amplification, we connect, you know, uh, sometimes loads. So we need to know uh, what kind of load I can attach without affecting my uh, DC. Uh, DC operating point, especially if you will not connect to the capacitor. For some, for some application, we don't use the capacitors to, to decouple the AC from DC. Okay. 